<laughs> okay, I feel so good when I'm in a good background because it ain't my background, I'm in. Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to the universe. We're in a new four year period, a new reigning president. And today was actually inauguration day and I watched the whole thing. Youngest national youth poet laureate. Well, I'm filming this after. I don't know why I said all that. Saw a lot of cool things on TV today. It was great. And to continue this great day with this great background, and Dito's actually house sitting and dog sitting our ma my manager's house, so they're not here right now. So I'm visiting, so so he's not lonely. I don't take care of dogs. I don't even touch them. I don't talk to them. Well, I just tell them to be quiet. So I don't do much for them, but he does a lot. He takes them out to go poo poo. But anyways, I'm here to do a this is my cream blush collection video it's not huge it's not maximum optimal biggest best collection ever it's sizable i think it's bigger than the average makeup wearer but it's not like look at all the cream blushes i have 57 and counting more no it's not like that I have 13 and one of them's a sample. So it's a sizable but mighty collection and I wanna take you through it. This is in no particular order, kind of. The first product I will show you is the first product, first cream blush I ever use. And then the last product is probably my favorite. That's it, everything in between is just whatever. This is the very first cream blush I ever got, liquid slash cream blush. My best friend, Christy, who also does me nails, she actually bought these for me, I think for as a Christmas or birthday present a while ago. And these are the Glossier Cloud Paints. So I'll do some swatcheroos. I took some nice photos, took advantage of this light. So I'll show you those as well. And I'll just give you guys a lowdown of what I think about these. So this was my ever first ever cream product. And so I wasn't, I'm so glad these were actually my first because they're incredibly easy to use. They blend out so nicely. The pigment is really, really good. The texture of it is very thin and very cloud paint. These names are so good because it's like cloud paint. So I'm a little, we're a little orange today, but that's okay because of the sun. They can blend out to a really sheer wash of color, which is what the Glossier girls are all about, sheer washes of color. Or you can, you know, kind of stamp them on. And this is the shade Dusk and Storm. Ani, Storm and Dusk. Ani, Storm and Dusk. This color is a little bit too strong, so what I usually do is I'll mix it in between, and I usually use that shade right there. I haven't been using them that much these days because I just got a lot in my collection recently, but I think these are really great for first timers. Glossier is kind of that brand that's like cool girls, not cool girls, but like minimal girls that wear very little. And I don't think I like everything from that Brand, but these I certainly certainly do enjoy and actually I think this is the only thing I own from that brand I don't know just some of the other things I'm like eh, but these cloud paints are really great They're not like extremely affordable. I think they're like $18 a pop I think they're good investments They last quite a long time and I love the texture and the blendability of them next are my infamous rare beauty blushes I have the shades joy love and I have this sample that I got from Sephora, and this is in the shade, Ooh. I don't remember what shade this is, but this is their purpley one. I just realized it's gonna be hard to do swatches because uh, I'm gonna have to use different parts of my body. But anyways, first shade is Joy, and then the middle shade is Love, and then the outside shade, I forgot, Happy or something. I've talked about these quite a bit on my channel. I think the packaging is cute. I love the names. I really like what Rare Beauty stands for, even though at first I was like, oh, that seems very marketing-y. But the more stuff they come out with and the, what is that word? The continuity of their message, the content that they, they put out, I think all align. So that's why I'm less like, oh, that's kind of marketing-y. Which I mean, it still is, but it's working and it's working on me. I actually first got a full version, like a big version. These are minis that I got in their holiday set because first of all, they're super finicky. The matte ones are super, super finicky. And it took me two months to learn how to use them because they dried so quickly. And even now it's hard to do a nice swatch because as soon as it touches your skin, it turns to powder. And it can be kind of patchy unless you're like working quickly. And I recommend using a brush. I really like the dewy ones. I think they go, a little goes a long way truly with these. So I really do, I do enjoy these, but I think they're difficult to work with. So I honestly, 
would not recommend this to be your go-to. Like it's, it has become not my go-to as my blush collection has grown. All of these blushes I've bought within the past like three months, minus the Glossier ones, because I never touched, except for one of the Fenty ones actually, I never touched cream products or liquid. And these are not first timers. These are for like third timers. But I think the payoff is really pretty. The long lastingness, the wearability, it's very long, very good. So whilst I think there's some like meh about these, I still do enjoy them. And I'm glad I got smaller versions because I don't think I'd ever go through one of the full ones. I think one day I'll be able to finish both of these, but I'm glad they're smaller versions. And then next are my Fenty Cream blushes. I have it in two shades, Fenty Glow and the shade Summertime Wine. I will tell you, I only like them when I remember to like them. That's kind of confusing, I know. I don't reach for these. I think it's because of the color. Summertime Wine is just like a little too poppy for me. It's a very vibrant, winey color, but it's not like mauve-y. It's more brighter. Like it's a very raspberry-y color. So it's not as flattering for me. I can make it work when I add light layers of it. So I don't like hate it. I actually like the formula. It's definitely more wet waxy than my other cream blushes and it takes a little bit of like warming up but I think because the payoff is so good and because it's a little bit waxier to begin with I think it lasts a little bit longer I honestly think this is actually good buy they're kind of small I just wish I think it's like the color I wish I had a different color I really want rose latte but like I really need to stop I need to stop so I'm not gonna buy rose latte because I feel like I have similar colors anyways like I think they're easy to use I actually really do like the packaging like I think it's kind of like the street cool I don't know, but I, I like these. Fenty Glow, I got this in their holiday set. It came with this, a diamond bomb and gloss bomb. I bought it because I wanted the diamond bomb to put on my eyes. And I thought I'd really like this blush because I thought it'd be like a terracotta brown, but to be honest, it is so, so faint. It, it's showing up right now, but it, it like kind of blends out to nothing on my cheeks. So I'm still trying to make it work. I don't use it that often and it's a little bit too shiny for me. It has like a lot of glow speckles and I'm not really into having like sparkly cheeks anymore. It's just like not my vibe. So I haven't used this that much. I need to use a little bit more, but the pigmentation of it wasn't that good. But now that I'm seeing it here, it looks pretty nice. So I'll have to give it another try, but I think it was limited edition anyway. So I don't know if you can get it. Overall, I would recommend, like all of these products I'd recommend. You know, that's why they're in my collection. Like I'm not out there buying every cream blush on the market because I don't have the money and I'll get in trouble. I'm not gonna be like, I don't recommend any of these because I do. I'm just telling you like the pros and cons. Unfortunately, the Fenty cream colors for me, I don't think I made the best choices. So I'm kind of meh. But other than that, I think they're great products and they are very small, but like cream blushes, especially with these, like you're not gonna be using that much every time. So I think it's a sizable, it's an okay amount of product. It's not a lot. It's not, it's not like they're not generous, but you'd have to weigh it out in your head. But they're about, they're, I think they're the same price as my rare beauty cream blushes. Stay vulnerable, baby. Nearly apricot and nearly rose. Nearly neutral, I mean. These are the second newest addition to my collection and I love these. I love the slight wash of color it gives, the quick cream to powder, but like very soft and easy blend it gives. I think these are 10 times better in terms of user friendliness, 10 times better than the soft liquid pinch blushes. Payoff wise, not so much. The payoff is kind of weak. They never boasted about long wearability anyway, so I don't think that was one of the claims to begin with, but I'm the type of person, okay, it's also because we're not going out anywhere. I do not mind touching up my makeup. I don't mind at all. And that's mainly because it gives me a break during my work day. I'll put my makeup on in the morning and then by noon time, my blush will be gone. So just go back and put some more on, you know what I'm saying? And then it'll be like three o'clock and all things, you know, I'll be bored again and then I can just put my blush back on. When we're out, obviously that's not like awesome. The kind of point of these is like minimal, cute gal goes out, puts this in her poly pocket and then brings it back out doo -doo 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 -doo, and then goes on with her day. I like these, I think the packaging, you could say it's a little childish, little lame, but I like it, I think they're cute. They're not like luxury, but they're oh, so cute. 
Oh, I love it. You know what I'm saying? Again, price point. With all these blushes that I've talked about so far, pretty much the same. So it's like, choose your fighter, whatever you think is best for you. On to more affordable cream blushes that I have. I've got two, only two. I'm gonna expand. If I do expand my blush collection, which I know I will, I need to expand in the drugstore. So don't worry, I'm gonna do my best with that. The Milani Cheeks Kiss, Checks Kiss, Cheeks Kiss in Wine Glow. This is definitely more of like summertime wine and wine glow. I imagined summertime wine from Fenty to be like wine glow from Milani. This is more recent of a discovery, last October or September, even November maybe. I don't know, in the later half of last year. I love this. Usability, again, all of these common theme is like pretty good usability, minus those soft liquid pinch blushes because I still have a fear with cream products because I hate patchiness and I hate when my foundation does lifts so i don't like products that are hard to use this is like gel water i don't think this consistency is similar to the paint because the paint from glossier has almost like a paint creaminess while this has almost like a gelness to it like a gel cream the pigmentation is pretty pretty light very subtle i would say it's more of that sheer wash of color and you can really use a lot to to build it up but it's not going to give you like full-on pigment which i like Again, Again, it's easy to use, very affordable, so pretty. It gives more of a sophisticated look. I really like this color. I'd buy another one, but I need to use this up first. I recommend it also for people that are hesitant to buy a liquid blush and don't want to spend that much money and just want to test it out. Milani's the way to go. Okay, next is my very newest, most recent discovery. It's been like two weeks. This thing is bomb.com. Bali, Elf Putty Blush in the shade Bali. I only bought one of these and it's what I'm wearing today. So sophisticated, but cheap. Packaging is whatever, but it's elf, you know? It's not creamy, but it doesn't melt in your fingertips. It doesn't feel like any of the cream blushes I have, like as nice, I think, of a formula in terms of like touch and feel. Honey! Doesn't feel luxury, but it loop luxury. You know what I'm saying? Like this stuff is so good. I love it. I think it performs so well. This is the most cream to powder in my opinion. I feel like it's powder right now, but in cream. I don't know how to explain it. it. It doesn't feel creamy. It just feels like packed powder that's cream by definition. I don't know, putty blush, but it's freaking amazing. Six doll hairs for a luxury experience packaged not so luxury, but it's fine because it's e.l.f. Love this color, Bali. It's that perfect brownie nude terracotta. You know, it's the color that I'm super into these days. I want to pick up this shade in every blush possible. But again, that's that's not good. This is lasts longer than, than the rare one. I don't know comparatively from, from the Fenty one. This is such a best bang for your buck type of blush. And I would highly recommend anybody interested in trying out cream blush. I feel like you should purchase this first. Like this should be your very first purchase ever just because it's so affordable. It will be accessible once it comes in stores. It's not in stores yet apparently. And the thing is like, it doesn't feel like cream. And I feel like a lot of people shy away from cream products because it's creamy. You know, you're like, I cannot do it, but you can do it. You can do it with this. And I will recommend you to do it with this. So I really, really like this. Highly recommend it, as I would highly recommend many of these products I'm talking about anyways. So I'm editing this blush video right now and I totes my goats forgot to talk about one of my last year's favorites, which is the Tower 28 Beach Please Magic Hour. I've talked about this a few times before. Actually, it was in my best of 2020s. I actually love this blush and I forgot to mention it. It's creamy, it's balmy. I love the brand, Asian Women Owned. It's a pretty small indie brand and they have just a really nicely pigmented blush. More than creamy, it's like balmy. I don't know how to explain it, but it has really, really good pigmentation and it glides really well onto your skin. So I forgot to mention that, but this was one of my tops last year. So yeah, bye. Lastly are my absolute favorite, Patrick Ta, double cream, double take, major moment, monetary, monochrome, double take cream and powder blush. His titles or his like product names are so long. They're just, they're getting too long. I have this shade, Oh She's Different and She's So LA. She's So LA is by far my most favorite blush I've ever purchased in my entire life. I love the powder, I love the cream. I love the idea of layering them. I love this little flap. 
that protects the cream from drying out. I love the packaging, the rose gold reflective packaging, although it gets dirty. Price point, I don't love, but you're, this is like an actual higher end Sephora brand. So like you're getting what you pay for, which is a luxury experience. I think this is also my favorite thing to like gift. I've gifted it a few once. But I want to give one to every single one of my friends. Like, the finish of it is so beautiful. You can make it look natural. You can make it look like blush. You can make it, I don't know, you can make everything out of it. I really like his brand. I have his brand on my lips today, too. I don't know. I just like Patrick Ta's aesthetic. I love his branding. The names, they're very like LA modely. Like, she's so LA. Ooh, she's different. Oh, her something. Oh. She's a baddie, or not baddie, but like she's so Hollywood. That's like not on brand with me because I'm like not, ew, ew. But his aesthetic, I'm I'm into that. And his, his makeup, his artistry. But the blushes themselves, they're so luxury. They feel so good, very buttery. The cream, I would say, is waxier. It's not super buttery creamy. It's not gonna melt via contact with the warmth on your fingers, but it works so well nicely into your skin and your makeup. If you're looking for like luxury or if you're looking for a gift, I think these are such wonderful gifts and I want to give one to everyone, but I don't want my friends to be like, oh, she gave you that too. She gave me that too. Oh, she gave you that too. She gave me that too. So I did it one time, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll like spread it out because these are so wonderful. So yeah, that's it. These are my, f not my favorite cream blushes. Well, they are, but they are also all of the cream blushes that I have. Again, sizable, and I'm not saying everybody needs this much. I'm not saying that I should even have this much, but this is how much I have. And I enjoy all of the products so much. And I hope this was helpful if you are considering dipping into cream yourself. I will later on do, I think, a full blush collection video or like my powder blushes. I wanted to do just one at first, but I had to separate it because it was too many. And maybe later down the line when I have like a more permanent space, I will do that because I have to do some organization and decluttering. So that's what I'm trying to do next. And yeah, that's it from me. If you want to, you can subscribe. Make sure to like this video and you can follow me on Instagram at underscore the universe. As always, be nice to your parents. Wear a mask. Does anybody know where this is from? And tell me where this is from. Okay, bye!